Hey everyone, welcome back into our Friday night newscast. Mike Schultz with you once again taking a look at the weather. Uh, the thunder shower is finally moving through. In fact, the latest radar shows not a whole lot behind it. However, that's not going to last, and I'll tell you why in just a little bit. Our photograph for tonight, this one's sent in by Dee Dee Welch. She was at uh, Paxson on Father's Day, and a beautiful panorama once again, beautiful colors there. Some snow in the background. In fact, they had five inches of snow near the summit area near Father's Day. Well, it's, it's some wild weather. Again, if you have a photograph to share, by all means, send it to photos at ktbf11.com, and we will share it with the rest of the audience. Here's your numbers for this time of year. 73, normal high. The today's high was 70 degrees before the clouds moved in. 49, the normal low last night, 47. Record high, 92 in 1958. Record low, 32 in 1919. 21 hours and 49 minutes of daylight, a gain of 15 seconds from yesterday. Tomorrow, oh, does it mean we have to start losing time? We'll just tackle that bridge when we come to it. Here's our latest flood warnings and advisories. Flood warning for the Upper Chena River until 1.15 p.m. A flood advisory in effect for Chena River in North Pole until 11 p.m. for Steamboat Landing Division and also the Freeman Road. Some water may be lapping at the uh, lower elevations there. Keep that in mind. That's in effect until 11 o'clock Sunday night. Here's what's going on. This is why I'm not too really excited about tomorrow. Look at all this moisture moving in from the east to the west, uh, quite a bit of it. And hopefully most of it will move through rapidly, but uh, there's quite a, a big area there to have to keep an eye on. So we'll keep our fingers crossed and, like I said, hope it moves through pretty fast. What's going on across the rest of the state? Well, over the southeastern section, some rain is falling around the Juneau area. Sunshine around the Anchorage Bowl, partly cloudy at Kodiak. Up and down the west coast, just mainly partly cloudy to cloudy skies. Cloudy skies on the north slope. And a nice day at Fort Yukon, 73 degrees there, lots of sunshine. Lower 48 weather, more storms developing across the central plains. Some of these could be severe. We have to keep an eye on that. And uh, the weather continues nice out to the west. Over to the east, the widespread areas of rain and thunderstorms because of the moisture coming up from the Gulf of Mexico. The jet stream tomorrow will be helping to enhance severe thunderstorm activity and maybe once again more tornadoes possibly developing. And the overall outlook for early next week is calling for more humidity over the eastern half of the country. Thunderstorms across the central plains, hot, hot weather out to the west. Got to keep an eye on that, too. Back to Alaska for tomorrow in the northern sections. Cloudy skies at Barrow, mostly sunny skies in Nome, and some rain showers for the Fort Yukon area. Here in the interior, looking at periods of rain into the evening hours for Healy, Delta Junction, and Fairbanks, while over the uh, southeastern sections, widespread rain expected for Juneau and Ketchikan. And out to the southwest, we're looking at uh, isolated showers for Cold Bay, partly cloudy skies for Kodiak, and Bethel. And over south central regions, if you head on down to the Anchorage area, you might have to take an umbrella looking at uh, some widespread shower activity around the Anchorage and Homer areas and a little better chance for rain in the Valdez area. And here's our forecast for the remainder of the night. Thunder showers early, then cloudy skies through the remainder of the night. 51 degrees for tomorrow's activities. Uh, you may have to take an umbrella, unfortunately. 69 degrees for the high. Periods of rain ending by the evening hours. Right now, it could be early evening or mid-evening. Doesn't matter, we're going to have a good time out there for all the uh, midnight sun run and the baseball game, too. And our extended forecast calling for a nice day on Sunday, though. Recovery there. Good for the uh, downtown uh, activities going on for the uh, midnight sun festivities. Uh, activity, like I said, going on Sunday evening from noon till midnight. And overnight lows dropping down to the low 50s with daytime highs in the low 70s. And speaking of the midnight sun run, you and I are going to be out there tomorrow. Rain or shine. Rain or shine. 